And we're back. So let's see what you came up with. Did you come up with a graph that was the square root function shifted up by 2? This is what it would look like. So I have other things that you could also try. I have the square root of x minus 3. I'm hoping you know which direction this will shift it. Go ahead and see if you and your partner agree. Tell each other, the person you're sitting next to, tell each other which way this is going to shift. Is it going to shift up? Is it going to shift down? Is it going to shift left? Is it going to shift right? And I'm hoping you will all say by three units. You just have to decide which way is it going to shift. See if you agree. If not, correct the other person. Ten seconds. Which way is it going to shift? I'm hoping you see this is happening inside the function. And it's touching the x, so instead of left and right, we're doing the opposite. So it's going to go to the right by three units. So hopefully that one worked out. And uh, I don't have to just do one. I can put two of them in there uh, for kicks and giggles. Look at what I did here. Uh, I have h of x is uh, the square root of x plus 2. And then outside of the root, I have uh, minus 2. So you should know if it's shifting up or down or left or right or both or a combination. Which way? Which way? Tell your neighbor. What is the shifting? Go. I'm hoping you said opposite, same, opposite, same, left, two, down, two, left, two. What does that mean from where? From zero, zero, left, two, down, two. I can see that graph going like that. It's a little sideways parabola. By the way, I just drew that, so I don't know how accurate that is, but it's, it's close, close enough. All right, next level. Uh, we need to be able to reflect things as well. Let's look at this. This is the square root function, but remember, this could be for any parent function. Right now, I want you to look at this square root function. This is actually me punching this into a computer and saying, computer, please graph f of x as a square root of x. My question to you is, what What would the parent function look like if a negative was put inside the parent function? What would the parent function look like if a negative was put inside the parent function? This time, I am going to pause, and um, I want you to talk about this one for at least 30 seconds with a neighbor and uh, you all can discuss whether you agree with each other and if you agree with the person you're sitting next to check and see with the people in front of you and behind you whether or not you uh, agree with each other here's the question again press pause please sub uh, before um, Miss Hopper um, so they can discuss this